Good evening viewers. Welcome to G1 Spoken English classes. Today our topic is parts of speech. Before we discuss anything about parts of speech, we need to understand what is a sentence. Fine. What is a sentence? Sentence is nothing but sentence is group of words which express a complete meaning. A sentence is group of words. Group of words means few words are put together to form a sentence which carries a meaning. So a sentence is group of words which express a complete meaning, right? Before we talk anything about a sentence, in fact, we need to know a little background of a sentence, how a sentence came into existence, rather a formation. As we have in any language, maybe Telugu, Hindi, or any local language, there are many languages in India, right? Likewise, for example, we have in Telugu 56 letters, in English we have 26 letters. They are from A to Z. A to Z, there are total 26 letters. This complete A to Z letters are called alphabet. Alphabet means, see generally we write alphabet A L P H A B E T S. Yes. This is not alphabets. Alphabet only. S is wrong. We need to say only, we have to say only alphabet, but not alphabets. Alphabet itself is called language. Generally, most of the people we see very proudly they claim that my child knows all the alphabets in English. Right? Sorry, it is wrong. We need to say my child knows all the letters of alphabet. Alphabet itself <coughs> means a language. Fine? So kindly do not use in future alphabets. Only we'll say alphabet. Fine? Move on. <clears throat> we have 26 letters A to Z out of which 5 are vowels, 26 are consonants. What are vowels? A, E, I, O, U. Remaining rather balance 21 are called consonants. These are called vowels because the sounding is totally different than consonants. What is that? See, let us pronounce A, E, I, O, U. Probably you must have noticed rather observe that when sound came out of these letters our parts of the mouth maybe tongue maybe teeth maybe jaws the water they are not any strain see for example a e i o u simply the air came out with the help of a sound that is what they are called which is straining our parts of the mouth fine that is what they are vowels and balance 21 consonants so before we talk anything about this consonants or vowels this is only nothing but an introduction this is because we are trying to arrive at a sentence 
Before we talk anything about sensor, little background we need to talk about also this. Okay, issues. So, friends, since we have discussed or we are here to discuss something about a sentence, sentence is nothing but a group of words. Fine? Okay. In English language, there are four elements. There are four elements. Number one, letter. Number two, word. Number three, sentence. Number four, paragraph. This four form total language of English. Not only in this, you take any language like Telugu also, Hindi, whatever the case may be, any vernacular. Letter, word, sentence, paragraph, they cover entire language. Let anybody speak. A walking encyclopedia who speaks volumes of the language, who has a lot of proficiency in the language, he only has to speak between A to Z only using these specific letters, not beyond that. Fine. <coughs> Likewise, see, let us see, let us see, Now let us talk about letter, word, sentence and paragraph. As, as already we have discussed, a sentence is nothing but a group of words. Fine. So, group of words. What is a word? W-O-R-D. Word means is nothing but the formation with the help of letters coming together or put together letter plus letter plus letter see this is a word letter itself is a word L E T T E R six letters have been put together to form a word fine so letter plus letter plus letter is equal word Sentence. Here, word, word, plus word, plus word. So, thereby you could come to know that in fact, bringing few words together, we are going to form a sentence. Likewise, the paragraph. Same. Paragraph means, again here comes sentence plus sentence is equal to a paragraph. Thereby, the entire language only revolves around this four only. Fine. See, now we need to frame a sentence and see what are the things required to frame a sentence? For example, Mohan plays cricket. Gita goes to school. Okay. One example Mohan plays cricket. Another example is Gita goes to school. So, the sentence is nothing but group of words and giving rather expressing a complete meaning. What it contains? It contains a subject 
a verb and this is called object okay like a gift also a subject goes a verb school object so a sentence minimum should have a subject plus a verb if a sentence has object to that means this is transitive verb you say it is transitive sentence which is not means a sentence which does not contain an object is called intransitive of course the details we can discuss during our next classes as of now we will wind it up here with regard to sentence fine so we know pretty well that in fact how a sentence came to so this is called a structure this is nothing but a structure this is called a structure so we need to have a structure in place to form a sentence which expresses a meaning a complete meaning okay so here we'll wind it up and switch over to parts of speech fine thank you very much for listening to me being with me have been receiving many phone calls plus emails also also to speak in telugu those videos also i'll release later hopefully you must have gone through my introductory class about spoken english my every effort will be there to satisfy you reach you give you the best out of the best what jeevan has if you like the video please subscribe share it with your kitan king or your rather among your circle thank you very much